Hello, I'm David Chaston with Nine Hit Nine, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news New Zealand taxes are rising while globally they're stable. Firstly, however, international air passenger travel is holding up better than air freight cargoes. In October, international travel was up 3.2% from the same month a year ago, and for the Asia-Pacific region, it was up 3.8%. While these are slowdowns in growth, this expansion seems more resilient than the trade data. And the final durable goods orders for October in the US has come in lower than their flash number, and that was unexpected. It has turned out to be 1.3% lower than in October 2018, and excluding defence orders, they were down 2.3% on the same basis. This trend is not healthy. Shipments were lower as well. All eyes in the US are now firmly fixed on tomorrow's non-farm payrolls report. And the Chinese have reiterated that the US tariffs must be reduced to win their approval for a limited phase one deal. Equity markets are faltering over the receding prospects on that front, despite other positive official words. And in Australia, retail sales were flat in October from September. Nationally, they're up just 2.7% in the year when inflation was 1.7%, indicating low or stagnant retail growth. In Victoria, retail sales grew just 1.9%. In New South Wales, it was 2.1%. In South Australia, it was below inflation at only 1.6%. The best result was in Queensland, where they're up 4.4% in a year. And the OECD reported that New Zealand's tax revenues as a percent of GDP rose relatively sharply in 2018 to 32.7%, and the fastest rise since 2010 when we raised the GST rate. Although our level is lower than the OECD average, that average is pumped up by high-tax European countries, so those benchmarks are not so relevant for us. We have the similar level as Canada, but we're well above Australia, which is at 28.5%, and the US, which is at 24.3%. But that one dropped sharply due to some irresponsible cuts to taxes on the wealthy and companies. Japan is at 31.4%. And the US Treasury 10-year yield is now at 1.79%. That's one basis points higher than this time yesterday. Gold is down a dollar to $1,479 an ounce. And U.S. oil prices are softer today at just on 58.50 a barrel. The Brent benchmark is just on 63.50 a barrel. But most of yesterday's big gain is holding. And the Kiwi dollar is higher again, now at 65.5 U.S. cents. On the cross rates were higher too at 95.8 Australian cents, and some analysts see this going higher yet. Against the euro, we're unchanged at 59 euro cents. That puts the trade-weighted index up to 70.6. We should also note that the Chinese are letting the yuan depreciate slightly faster now. Presumably they see less likelihood that the deal with the Americans is coming. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.